Hello, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will discuss about another function or a method of Python, which is SQRT. So this method also comes with a module math, and in math module, like once you imported this module, you can easily use this SQRT function. Now, question is why? What is the need? Where, uh, like, what are the scenario where we can utilize this? SQRT function. So whenever you want to calculate the square root of any number, in that case, uh, you can utilize this SQRT function of math module. So how to use that? For that, you just need to import the module first. So on the very first line, I am writing import math. Once you import this module in your program, later you can utilize it multiple times for your operations. Okay. Now here I have noted down some of the scenarios with the different different input and different different output so we'll see one by one each scenario so for the first scenario you can see we are storing the value result as math.sqrt25 so what it will do it will calculate the square root of the 25 and then it will be stored inside this result variable and then we are printing this result variable on line number 11 so let's verify the same so for that I will scroll it drag it up here I will write python space session 64 dot pi so if I hit enter here you can see it print multiple outputs so the for, for the first one you can see the value is 5.0 which is the exact square root of 25 okay now on scenario second what we are doing we are uh, using math.sqrt with 0 so if you try to calculate the square root of the 0 then it would come as 0, 0.0 itself why because there is no square root for the 0 now look at the third scenario here we are using math.sqrt function with the value 2.5 so if you try to calculate the square root of this 2.5 then the equivalent value would come as 1.58 double one three double eight three double zero eight four one eight nine eight okay all right now what we are doing in uh, fourth scenario in fourth scenario we are providing the larger value one two three four five six seven eight nine so if you try to con uh, calculate the square root of this larger value then the output would become like this one 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 dot triple one zero six zero and all time all fives okay so this is how you will see the output if you are providing the value as one two three four five six seven eight nine and you are trying to convert the square uh, root of this value calculate that square root of this value okay now in fifth scenario what we are doing we are storing one value inside a variable so instead of passing directly value we are using the variable x and then we are storing the value as 16 so when you try to calculate the sqrt sqrt 16 to this function then it would become 4 so you can see output is coming as 4 now look at the sixth scenario in sixth scenario we are pro providing the value as sqrt as 1 so what it will do it will calculate the square root of 1 and the output is coming as 1.0 okay so these are the some most commonly used scenarios where we can utilize this um, sqrt function and uh, like this scenario is just mainly showing you all those possible values that could come as an output if you are trying to pass the uh, different different values like positive value negative value zero okay okay uh, one more thing like if what will happen if i try to pass the value as minus one will it work so let's see if i save this and rerun my program you can see it is giving the error math domain error okay so by this we can understand like we we are not supposed to pass the negative value here so just make sure that you are providing the values <coughs> which is acceptable by this function itself okay so yeah that's all for this session i hope it is clear to all of you in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching texture math